have passed through what we call environmental conservation way, environmental conservation way or ways that we can use to conserve our environment. Now, let us say number two or part B of our lesson of today is all about the environmental destruction ways, environmental destruction ways or ways that can distract the environment or sometimes a person can say that ways that can destroy our environment. Okay, now let us go to see. Number one is known as deforestation. Deforestation. Deforestation is the process of cutting down trees without a replacing without a replacement. So the process of cutting down trees without replacement that is known as deforestation is the process of cutting down trees of cutting down trees without repressing it. When you are cutting down trees without repressing a new one, that is what you are doing there is known as deforestation. It's known as deforestation. And you have to know that environmental destruction ways a way that can destroy our environment. Sometimes that human activities that can destroy our environment. Because deforestation is done by human beings. Human being. So uh, why people they are doing what you call deforestation, we shall see later. But now let us go to see number two. Number two, way of distracting our environment. Number two is all about the industrial activities. Industrial activities. These activities also can lead to the environmental destruction or what we call destroy our environment. In which way uh, industrial activity can destroy our environment? You, you know that in the industry there is a what we call chine which is always produced shoes which is going to our environment. And those shoes can lead to the uh, those shoes from industries. Shoes from industries from industries leading to air pollution. Due to air pollution. Due to air pollution. But apart from this one, apart from this one, in the industries. There is what we call storage system that is always directing those waste products in the water uh, way to the other areas. In some industries, they are not treating their waste products that in such a way. So those storage system they can lead to the when this goes maybe the water bodies like rivers or lakes, they can lead to what we call uh, sometimes lead to water pollution. Water pollution. But it is, apart from the water pollution, when it is in water, when, when leached to the water bodies like rivers and ocean, then the water pollution. But before reaching that areas, remember, remember that uh, water material when flow to the what we call the land, always can be filtered into the land and then to the what we call land pollution. And remember for sure that that water contains chemicals. So those chemicals can destroy or can distract the what we call organisms, nano, uh, what we call uh, organ microorganisms which are obtained in our, in, our, in our land, which always sometimes scare what we call the fertility of a particular land. So also can lead to what we call uh, land pollution. Land pollution. Another way that can destroy our environment, apart from those ones, 
Another way in terms of destroying our environment, apart from that one, are uh, what we call body fishing methods. Body fishing Body fishing methods. Body fishing methods, which way, which body fishing method are we talking about? There are some people, they are fishing by using what you call dynamic, for example, fishing. Fishing by using dynamic, dynamic fishing, or sometimes known as dynamic fishing. But also fishing by using bombs. Fishing by using bombs. By using bombs. But also poisonous fishing. Poisonous fishing. From that one, we have fishing with small net holes. Fishing with small net holes. So these are examples of body fishing methods, which can be conducted in destroying our environment, in the soil or in the structure of our environment. Number four, a human activity or ways that can destroy or can disrupt our environment is mining activities. Mining activities. Mining activities. Mining activities. What is mining? What is mining? Mining is the process of extracting minerals from the ground. As you know that mining is the process of extracting minerals from the ground. So mining activities can lead to what we call the uh, uh, presence of, of, of different virus in the ground. And before doing such what we call extracting uh, that, that way of extracting minerals in, the, in that area, people they are used to cut all trees around that area in order to get the space to do their activities is very as concerned what you call mining activities. So these are the ways that can destroy our environment. We have another one which is known as uh, poor waste disposal. Poor waste Poor waste disposal. Poor waste disposal. This is a body way of keeping or uh, of throwing waste products into our environment. The body way is in the bad of keeping or throwing. Waste products to our environment. To our environment. So when we are throwing waste products, or when we are giving waste products in the body, that is known as poor waste disposal. For example, if someone is throwing waste random. Example. Maybe uh, you have eaten something, maybe you have just bought it, uh, maybe uh, something that, that you are straight. Then after buying those things, maybe you have been packed in a particular uh, piece of paper. Then after eating maybe a piece of cassava, then you are going to throw it every, uh, anywhere after finishing eating. So that is not a good way of keeping uh, wasting products. So that is what you call poor wasting disposal. But away from that one, maybe for the people, for those who are in the school, uh, who are at the school areas. 
maybe they have their piece of papers, then instead of taking those pieces of papers to the PTOs or dustbins, they get going randomly in the environment. So that is what we call uh, poor waste disposal. So those are examples of, of what you call waste that can destroy our environment. We can add one. The last but not the least, there is bad agricultural activities. Oh, body farming method. Body farming, farming method. Body farming methods. How this body farming method may disrupt our environment. There is example use of artificial fertilizers so the use of artificial fertilizers frequently Because when you restore the use of these artificial fertilizers, it will become a time your farm cannot be productive. It will no longer produce a more what you call crops in that area. So we are advising those people who are using these what you call the artificial fertilizers. It's better to use manure fertilizers, those fertilizers which are coming from our animals and the other ways of getting manure fertilizers in order to protect the fertility of the, our farms or of all of, of, of our legs. So this also can destroy the land and can disrupt what we call our environment. But if those fertilizers when the land comes, always goes with those with our fertilizers are dirty down areas. Maybe the, the, the press where those waters are directed to maybe the water bodies or the press where we are, we are always used to, to take those waters uh, maybe for the domestic uses. So that also can destroy our environment. Led to the water pollution is great landing pollution. Uh, apart from that one, I can say that we have to protect our environment. We have to use the ways that can protect our environment and make our environment clean, we can make our environment attractive and safe to live because we are always depending on the environment. We are depending on uh, fresh air from the environment. We are depending we are need oxygen from the environment, from the plants. So when we are cutting down trees without requesting new ones mean that we are no longer to get uh, those oxygens in a good way. We, we, can, we can have what you call insufficient of that what you call oxygen. But also uh, we can protect the environment that can help us protect the environment from what you call global warming. So that is a good way when we shall protect it, when all, all of us we shall cooperate together in protecting our environment and in everyone we insisting another on how to protect the environment that will help us to make our environment good, clean, productive and safe to live. Thank you for example.